Good morning and welcome to the ASX at Breakfast. I'm Rachel, live from Kalkine Studios in Sydney. The share market is expected to open lower today. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.2% fall. Yesterday, the market closed lower at 0.07% lower at 7,173. A review board has approved Ramsey JV sale to Columbia Asia. Ramsey Healthcare today announced that Columbia Asia Healthcare has received confirmation from the Australian Foreign Investment Review Board that the Commonwealth has no objection to Columbia acquiring Ramsey's 50-50 joint venture in Asia, Ramsey Syme Derby Healthcare. Completion of the transaction is now expected to occur on the 28th of December. Sky City Entertainment expects its full-year operating earnings to be below or flat compared to last year as it faces lower revenue and uncertainty about its car parks. The company forecasts normalised earnings before tax for the year ending June of between $290 million and $310 million, which compared to last year's $310 million. It forecasts a full year after tax profit of between $125 million to $135 million against last year's $138.8 million. There's been a reduction in electronic gaming machine revenue across New Zealand and its Adelaide casino has also been expecting lower revenue because of legal and compliance cost pressures. There's also been a delay in settling its repossession of its Auckland car park operation and that was hitting earnings despite a legal ruling in the company's favour on settling the matter. And Lake Resources has appointed Don Miller as Chief Financial Officer, effective immediately. Lake is a responsible lithium developer in Argentina's Lithium Triangle. CEO David Dickinson says he will provide significant value to Lake as they execute the strategic delivery of their flagship Kochi project. He joins Lake after serving as the president and CEO of Bristow Group a leading global provider of helicopter services to the offshore energy industry. He's replacing Peter Nielsen, who will be moving on from the company. We'll take a short break here, but stay tuned for more news after the break. Build better relationships, get connected, heard and noticed. We always believe in getting you the best. Kalkine Media's growing platform, Kalkine TV, helps you connect to an inquisitive audience from across the globe. Interact in a trusted environment. Showcase your brand on Kalkine TV in a seamless and effective manner. We connect and curate content as per your business needs. So why wait? Write to us at guestteam at kalkine.com.au. Welcome back to the ASX of Breakfast. I'm Rachel. The S&P 500 rose 0.80%. The Dow Jones added 0.17% and the Nasdaq advanced 1.37%. European markets closed lower. London's FTSE fell 0.02%. Frankfurt lost 0.16% and Paris closed 0.10% lower. And Asia markets, Tokyo's Nikkei fell 1.76%. Hong Kong's Hang Seng lost 0.71%, while China's Shanghai Composite closed 0.09% lower. That's the latest on the ASX at Breakfast. I'm Rachel, signing off for now.